Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma, and also welcome to our third day of our Sneaky Peaks. I'm super excited about today. Today we are showcasing, showcasing three new items, okay? They, the first one are the stitched, um, hold on, let's see, stitched bees and beehive dies. Um, next one is the stitched honeycomb die, and the next one's called Be Happy. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the dies because remember, there's really no support. You're clearly seeing the, you know, what we're making with the die. So it doesn't hurt if I show you the die. This is the cute little um, stitched honeycomb die, and I cannot wait for you to. See. I just saw um, some of the sneaks, and a few of my design team members made little note cards with this die it's super cute the size of it is let's see it looks like it's well the bigger portion at least is they're stitching on the outside as well so you can make a cute little shaker card with it if you want um it's three and a half three and a half you know by three and a half okay well i'm sorry three and a half by three basically is what it is so but when you get them make sure you um, disconnect right here you um, take them apart okay because they're wired together so take them apart so this way you could have this this as your layer okay um, let's see and the next one are our stitched bees and beehive dies this one here is so cute I love it here goes the cutie patootie little beehive die. Isn't that adorable? I have stitching on the outside as well as the inside. Um, and these here are just cut marks just to kind of give us some definition to it. And then here goes our cutie patootie little bee dies. We have four cute little bumblebees and I did use all of them um, within my two cards so you could see exactly what they look like. Okay. But they do come wired together but the important one you have to remember to take apart is this one. This way you could have your layer behind because I'm in all of these little hexagons cut out you're going to need a layer behind it okay so i am going to show you the card i made actually using kind of almost using everything um i love the way this came out because when i had first designed that little honeycomb dies i had a vision of <laughs> making a stencil with it so let me just push this aside so you can see you see this is the little this is the way it looks when it comes out that's why i said you have to separate them so you could have a flat um, layer underneath like with the little color popping through. Anyways what I did was just cut it out in some really light um, chipboard. Um, it's really really thin chipboard. Um, and then all I did was I went ahead and I just put this there um, and then I used my embossing tape, embossing paste I should say. This and I mixed in some of this dandelion um, ink. So what I did was I just put the ink on my craft mat and then I got the embossing paste and I put it in the mix, <laughs> mixed it up to make the yellow, um, the yellow, what do you call it, embossing paste. So what I had did was I had them, some of them are darker because I, for some reason I wasn't too happy because that's the color it came out, the really light, light yellow. That's why I found some. So what I did was I got the, the, what do you call it, my, um, my watercolor and then I just went and I painted a piece of card soft to match that yellow because all of them were that light yellow at first okay so but then it was still too plain so I went in with my mustard seed here this is the mustard seed marker this is the mar this is the color ink I used to make this color of my card sock so remember if you don't have the color you want make it yourself and so I, that's what I did was I watercolored some paper and then I cut out my heart okay so anyway so what I did was I just since they were all so light I wanted to switch it up a bit so I colored some of them mustard seed and I left a couple blank um, not so dark and then I added a little bit of the wink of Stella someone asked me what it looked like this is what it looks like so when you order this make sure it's the brush okay because I've ordered some before which I thought was an excellent deal and they weren't even like that they were just like a pen tip and I wasn't <laughs> I wish I would have known that now I know better um, okay so anyway so here goes the, here goes the cutie patootie little bees what I just what I did earlier okay I 
cut mine out with the stamps. I use the dies here. These stamps are in a separate set. Just keep that in mind because I couldn't keep them all together otherwise it would have cost way too much because those, these dies here are on the bigger side so these have to be sold by themselves. The coordinating stamp set um, actually, this isn't even the stamp set. I used a different one. But anyways, the coordinating stamp set, which has the little stamp of the cutie patootie little um, butterflies and the sentiments are sold separately, okay? So what I do is I use the set we showcased on Monday called Happy Thoughts. So Be Happy is in that um, set. And I use my little, um, my heart here is from the Stitch heart layering dies which is right here um, and that's about it just added some wink of Stella there and then for my, the little wings I use this my little chunky glitter I put um, glossy accents down on the first and then the chunky glitter on top and then I used the cutie little heart and put it on on the little chesticles <laughs> um, so anyways that's it for this oh and then this little this little thingy here, I don't even know what it's called. This came from what we released last week, last week, last month. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. And there's two of them here. There's one smaller one. This is the bigger one, and this is the smaller one. And I use the smaller one for that, okay? Um, let's see, what else did I do this? That's it, actually, but I was really proud because I wanted to try this so bad, and I thought it would make a really cute stencil, and it did, so I'm super-duper excited about that. Okay, and then the happy here, this is um, a die, which comes with that set, happy thoughts that we showcased on Monday, okay? So that's the first card. And then the second card is using my, the cute little beehive die, okay? Um, so all of my butterflies I did cut out. For some reason, they, they look pretty on the actual regular card stop, but when I was designing them, I knew I wanted to cut them out with vellum. Because um, I wanted, you know, them to actually look like they're really, really flying off the page here. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's, I cut, I already cut a whole bunch out in vellum, so this way they'll be ready for me when I'm ready for it. Okay, so anyways, these hearts here, this is from, um, this heart here is from the same one here that we, I use on the other one, the stitch layer dies. These, this heart is from this one here, the stitch sweetheart in XOX dies, which is that tiny one there. And then this tiny, tiny one up there comes from my 4x4 journal card and more. The 4x4 journal and more. Okay, so what I did was I cut out my beehive and I went use these three inks to watercolor them up. A wild Honey Vintage Photo and Mustard Seed. And um, I noticed when I used the Vintage Photo, it kind of left it a little, definitely a distressed look. And I was upset because I... I used for, since this is like a shimmery white cardstock, um, regular ink wouldn't work very well. Um, so what I do is I use some embossing powder um, from Hero Arts and I heat emboss the cute, this thing part there. Um, then that little window, I cut it out in a different color because, you know, you could, you, you can. <laughs> um, have a beautiful day. It's from that set, Be Happy. And then here goes the other little butterfly right here. Isn't that super cute? So what I did was I'm going to show you how I cut my wings because you could get, like when I have these designs, sometimes like they have to go by by the guidelines of what they can do, what they can't do with your dies. So I'm going to show you how I got my wings to sit up um, just like so. Um, and then this here, since I didn't do anything like a branch or something, you know how usually these hang from a tree? Since I didn't do that, I thought it would be cute, a different alternative. Just go ahead and just tie it right to the top of your um, card. And I thought it looks really, so it looks like it's hanging from something. Um, I figured you could probably cut out a branch from anywhere. The silhouette cuts, Cricut has lots of them. Um, so anyway, so that's it right there. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to f get your wings to look like they're flying really fast. Let me grab all, all the stuff. Okay, here are a few little butterflies I cut out using some vellum, but let me take them off here really fast. Okay, so basically what you want to do for your actual dies, there is stitching along the little, um, <laughs> I was going to call them their leaves, the little wings. So you want to use that as your guideline. And the best way 
I'm not going to emboss it on right now because it takes too long. I don't. Well, it doesn't take long. I just don't want to keep you because there's lots to see. I what you want to do is use um, the best way for it to pop and for it to stand out, and look really, really shiny, is heat emboss it. Look how pretty that looks. The black, and then um, and I just colored in the yellow part with that mustard, so the same mustard seed um, marker, and it worked perfectly. Okay, so the second best thing to use is your stays on. That's what I usually use for the vellum or the archival ink. I just don't have that in front of me at the moment here. So what you want to do is just make sure your little wings are lined up with the stitching. I guess I kind of give us a little cheat, little cheats, cheat sheets like that. Okay, so I'm going to go, let me zoom in for you so you can actually see. I don't want to zoom in too much because sometimes it just zooms in by itself and doesn't let me stop. Okay, so I'm going to go, let me ink this up one more time because it stays on kind of dries out really fast. So what you want to do is just make sure you line it up really, really good, especially with the stitching. Okay, now stays on does tend to stay on. So... I usually just grab my little tweezers here to take it off. That's... See, and there it goes right there. You see how it lined up? Um, you see how it lined up perfectly with the little stitching on the inside of the wings? And you just have to kind of practice. I wouldn't, if I were you, I wouldn't cut out a whole bunch of vellum. You don't want to waste your vellum, that for sure. I practice stamping on some regular little cheap white cart, um, white cardstock just to, on, you know, or your scraps, just to make sure I got it down. And it does come with a set of um, just two little faces you could put on there. Um, I forgot to stamp that, so let me do that right now. And we're going to go ahead and stamp. There's a little sad face on here, too. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that right here. There we go. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Okay, so let me quickly show you how I did the wings. Because if you see here, you see how, let me use this right here. You see how it's all connected right there? And like I said, there's guidelines that the dye people have to go by. So there's certain things they can do, certain things I can't. But it doesn't mean I can't trim them down myself, right? So what I did to make my wings look like they're flying, I just trim right here. Like you see right there, hopefully you can see that in the camera. And then I just kind of just evened it out with this side here. Okay, you see how it's a little bit opened right there, a little bit more. And then I did the same exact thing. Oops, I keep coming out of the camera. To this side here, so let me trim that right there. Okay, and let me grab one more thing. You really don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just, it was just something a little extra. See, that's why I love the vellum, because you can actually see through where you are scoring. So I'm just scoring on the actual wing, like, right there, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, right there. So this way... You could kind of like fold them down. Oops, this one did I? This one I didn't cut through all the way. Hold on. Okay, I forgot you have to cut it down to the actual body. Okay. And let me trim this little piece right here. Now, like I said, you don't, this is not a necessity. <laughs> this is just if you want it to look like it's flying. Um, and that's how I, see how the little wings stick up like that? And that's how I did that one. You know, this card right here. I did the thing. But when you put glossy accents, they tend to curl up. So that's when I went ahead and I used, um, see it's clear, you can't even see. It's just clear pop-up dots like so. And I just put that on. So anyway, so that's how you can make your little wings, you know, look like they're flying. That's how you can separate them. Okay, or if not, you could just use them as is. It's totally up to you. Um, let's see, what else do I have to show you? I wanted to show you that. And that's about it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's sneaky peek. I thought it was a super cute one. 
And this one is going to go on a card with using the sentiment. Um, let's see. What's there is one that says sorry, sorry for stinging you. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, I love this release. It was so easy to work with. I'm telling you, I was stressed out because I didn't have all of my everything done like ahead of time, like sometimes I do for releases that is, and just trying to throw stuff together really quick made it so easy with everything that we have showcased for you this week. So I hope you enjoyed today as much as we enjoyed making them for you. Don't forget to leave your comments on our blogs. Um, you could go ahead and start the blog. Um, start. You'll see everything on my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com. You go ahead and start there, and then just click on each person's name. Go ahead and leave your comments for a chance to win the, all three items that we showcased today: the honeycomb dies, um, the the bumblebee and beehive dies, and the bee hoppy coordinating step set. Okay. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you back tomorrow for the cutest, cutest sneak peek ever. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.